Welcome. We will be using a Mac and Firefox for this demo. Please note that other browsers, like Safari and Chrome, have compatibility issues with EndNote. In this video, we will cover how to directly export references from an Ovid database into EndNote. EndNote allows you to conveniently store and organize all your references in one place. In this video, we will be using Medline as our example, but the steps are the same for any Ovid database. We recommend opening the EndNote library you wish to work with before exporting any references. Otherwise, EndNote will automatically export the references into the library you had last used, which may not be the one you wish to currently work with. First, open EndNote. If the library you wish to work with isn't already open, then go to File and Open Library, and browse for the library you wish to open. Then click Open. If you would like to create a new library to work with, then go to File, New. In the Save As box, type the name of the new library. Click Save. Once you've completed your search in an Ovid database, such as Medline in this example, you can either select a few references or a larger batch of references to bring into EndNote. This is called a direct export. On the results page, using the checkbox next to each result, take off the references you want to export. Or, if you want to export more, then go to the top of the results and the range box, type in the range of numbers you wish to export. For example, 1 to 2000. Note. The maximum number of each export is 2,000 at a time. If you have more than 2,000 references, you'll have to do this a few times in batches of 2,000 each. Then, go to the top of the results and click the Export option. A pop-up box will appear. Under the Format option, click the drop-down menu and select EndNote. Under the Fields option, click the drop-down menu and select the Complete Reference option. This ensures that additional information, such as the name of the database, is included in your export. Then, click the Export button. A new pop-up box will open. Beside the Open With option, click Choose, and browse for the EndNote program on your computer. Select EndNote 20, then click the Open button. Once you see that EndNote is selected in the pop-up box, click the OK button. Note, if it doesn't open up EndNote right away, then a new pop-up box will open. In that case, under the Open With option, click Choose and browse for the EndNote library you want it to open up in. Select the library and click the Open button. Now EndNote will open the library you have been working with earlier and you will see the newly added references appear temporarily under the Imported References view. You will always see these references in your library by going to the left panel and clicking All References. You've now completed this video. Thanks for watching.